hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to have you here so for today we'll be i'll be making this delicious uh breakfast meal known as acha so if you want to see how i made this meal keep watching this news is also very good for someone that has diabetes so if you want to see how i made it keep watching So what I have here is just one cup of acha. You can see the way the acha is, it's just one cup, one cup. But this one cup is going to be, um, will be okay for um, between three to five persons. So that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, my pot, add some water, then allow it to boil. So why the water, why I wait for the water to boil, I'll go ahead and wash the asha. Please, my dear, make sure you wash the asha properly. Make sure you wash the asha properly. Asha comes with sand. Most of them comes with sand. So make sure you wash it properly. The first thing you have to do is you, you use your hand to, you know, squeeze it, wash it. Then the debris will, you know, float on the water and then you sieve it out. You can repeat this for a number of times till the debris, you know, till you sieve out the debris. Then the next step is to start, is, a, is to use another bowl. That's you are using two, two bowls to, you know, sieve it. Once you sieve, you pour back the water, you keep sieving till you get to the uh, last. As in, till you get to the, how will I put it? you get to the last where you get to see sand at the bottom of the um, bowl so this is how you keep saving it you sieve it out pour water you sieve it out you can see the technique i'm using to sieve it so this is what you keep doing till you sieve out the sand acha comes with sand make sure you wash it properly except those that has been you know repackaged that one there is no much sand in it so take notes you can see the sand you can see the sand so I'm going to repeat this for a number of times till I till I make sure that there is no more sand in it so that's it just make sure you wash it properly as you can see our water is boiling our water is boiling so the next thing I'm going to do is just to go ahead and pour the asha inside like I said earlier this one cup this one cup of asha is going to be okay for um three to five servings that's for like three to five people so after pouring the asha you keep stirring it make sure you don't leave it keep stirring because if you do not stir it it's going to you know um you have seeds inside so you keep stirring till it thickens you can see the way it has taken so you just have to keep stirring till it thickens you can see it depending on the consistency you want if you want it to be more watery you add more water if you want it to be less watery you you know keep stirring it as you can see our asha is ready and i'm serving it into a plate take note that for this asha if you should leave it for some time it will still ticking more take note it will still ticking more so that's it so the next i'm going to do is after serving is just to go ahead and add the milk and then go ahead and have my breakfast i was not having any liquid milk big milk so i made use of the powdered milk so you can use any milk of your choice milk is milk also if you want to add sweetener you can decide to use honey you can start to use honey so that's just it it's still okay so you just try to turn it turn it properly and go ahead and have your delicious breakfast meal whether breakfast or dinner it's okay it's very very okay you can see how our acha eats very good for someone with diabetes i hope you learned something from this video if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up like and share with your friends like come your way next time with another interesting video you have a lovely lovely day bye bye